Hello loves, welcome back to Wander Tarot, and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I'll be tapping into Gemini's energy for your you versus them love reading for September 2024 until your next reading. Keep in mind that these are general readings, so they may not resonate with you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest for others. To the ancestors, archetypes, and guides that are here for the greater good and higher self of Gemini, Thank you for constantly guiding and protecting them thus far, and I pray that they can continue to receive those gifts from you. Please let me be a channel to bring them the messages that are trying to find them at this time. All right, Gemini, I'm going to pull for the person that's on your mind. Um, if it doesn't seem to resonate, it might be somebody that is, uh, it might just not resonate for you, but it might be somebody's energy that is showing up in yours, or somebody that's coming towards you, or... Um, if it does resonate, you will know who is who, but I'm going to read it as if it's the person on your mind. All right, Spirit Guides, Universe for Gemini. Upright or reverse, nothing off the ground. How does the person on Gemini's mind see Gemini at this time? And what are their intentions with Gemini? The person that's on Gemini's mind. What are their intentions? Gemini. And what is their next likely action towards Gemini? Thank you, Spirit. What are the energies going on with Gemini? Spirit upright or reverse, nothing off the ground. How does the person, how does Gemini see the person on their mind? How does Gemini see the person that's on their mind? And what are Gemini's intentions towards the person on their mind? What advice do you have here for Gemini regarding the person that they're connecting with or that it's on their mind or in their energy? Thank you, Spirit. Alright, so Gemini, the person on your mind currently sees you as the Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Swords in reverse. Spirit Guides Universe, why the Eight of Pentacles and why the Nine of Swords? So, the person on your mind sees you with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and that is clarified by the Six of Cups. So, they see you possibly not repeating something that they've witnessed you repeat in your life. This is somebody that has known you for a while, or that you have history with, or that gives you a, 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 maybe it was easy to be yourself around this person. They see you in a space of either getting out of touch with something that you used to work hard towards. I'm not sure if it's an actual genuine dream of yours or if it's just how you would put work first. They see you in a space of wanting to feel nostalgic again and maybe not do so much of the mundane. That's also with the Nine of Swords in reverse, clarified by the devil. So they see you in a space of possibly taking a look at something that you have always felt pretty... Not f uh, forced, but pressured, possibly pressured to do. 
if it's not pressured, maybe you are addicted to work. Yeah, this person knows that about you, possibly. Or maybe they've seen it before so they know what it looks like. If it's a newer energy, they, they are aware of... They feel they are aware of what they're looking at here because they have experience in what that looks like when other people are like overworking or wanting to get out of a place that they may feel stuck. So they see you in a space of trying to unstick yourself, possibly do something different here regarding work or something that you were working a lot on or towards or like it could just be you be on the clock but they may also see you in a space of like going back in time looking back at things that did not work out how that may have interrupted your sense of control over the devil their intentions is the Page of Cups in reverse, the Empress, and the Three of Cups. So, Gemini, uh, for very few of you, it's, it's possibly the intentions of wanting to just connect with people, not necessarily be in a relationship. Maybe they don't feel that they are ready for one. They more their intentions are to put their nurturing energies towards their inner circle, possibly family, close friends. It's more of just like generally nurturing connections they already have and uh, romance not necessarily being on the forefront. The let's clarify spirit why the page of cups in reverse for the person on Gemini's mind's intentions. Got the Empress. What's the Three of Cups? The King of Cups in reverse. I think they I think their intentions are to put their energy towards things that won't feel draining. Maybe there's something here in regards to romance that feels very draining emotionally like it it's just they're just not their intentions are to come let's see hold on what's the empress the hanged one they want to see what's missing here in the sense of emotional fulfillment and I think that their intentions are to genuinely look at what feels nurturing. Like what's deeper than the romance? What's what's the deeper connections? Their intentions are to nurture the deeper connections that for the few of you that Okay, <laughs> for most of you, it's, I'm picking up, like, the, 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 bi the biggest message is, is that the, their intentions of nurturing this, um, n nurturing what they feel is taking priority in their life, which is their support system, but for a few of you, it's them possibly wanting to and I'm, it's not like friend zone but they're not taking this connection as serious they're not their intentions are to not necessarily close off their emotions with other people it, it's very natural for them it feels very natural for them the intentions are to maybe not romanticize to be realistic here
They don't want to feel stuck. They don't want to feel like they're getting their hopes high. For a few of you, it might be wanting the polyamory and they're not necessarily feeling very sexual or, or like emotional in that way. It's more of like snuggles and kisses. I don't know. Um, intentions of like getting getting nurtured, nurturing, having that be something that is that helps them at this time because of the King of Cups in reverse and Page of Cups in reverse. There's like this lack of feeling in touch with romance at this time. Their intention is to nurture it the best way that they can show up. Um, their next likely action is the Six of Wands, the World, Eight of Swords in Reverse, and the Five of Pentacles in Reverse. Their next likely action is definitely getting themselves out of this energy, out of any, out of staying away from anything that makes them feel betrayed, anything that gets them into their head. Um, for some of you, the person on your mind's next intention is to completely avoid certain topics certain subjects to possibly have uh, be like tone deaf to some things that you may want to talk about if not it's just them trying to uh, keep their composure here they want to feel accomplished they want to feel like they have reached a level a part of their life where they can kind of get out of their own way and kind of just attract uh, what feels good, attract, keep attracting what makes them feel accomplished in life, what makes them feel recognized, possibly just validation. So for a few of you that wanted to kind of, the, the person on your mind possibly wanting to kind of open up, keep their options open and not really get serious or just enjoy and have fun like in the nurturing energy. Um, they're trying to stay away from any serious subjects. They want to be known for uh, like how happy they are, how happy they can be. They want to see that in themselves. Therefore, they they may be going through all costs to avoid ever feeling like this. And that could just be just staying away from like toxic energies. Uh, you know, stopping habits, stopping certain behaviors. But they're definitely, their intention is to definitely show the world that they're happy, show the world that they're accomplishing. So for some of you, the person on your mind may be like doing posts on social media or having conversations with people that really paint a picture that they're doing really good, they're doing really well. And that's not necessarily false. I don't know really where they're at without their permission to kind of pull deeper for them. This is their next likely action is to get into a better space here and for it to be known, for it to be obvious. Spirit, can you clarify their intentions? First one, Gemini's mind. Oof. We got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Ace of Cups in reverse and the Six of Swords in reverse. In regards to their next likely action, I don't think they're trying to make any um, quick moves. I don't think they're trying to make any final decisions. They're definitely putting their wand away. <laughs> they're definitely like... Uh, trying not to possibly be too intimate intimate because it's been maybe creating some, maybe it has created some issues with either their psyche or just in general when they try to get involved romantically. It seems to just not start out well, so they're just taking a break here. And maybe they feel like they're, you know, uh, in, in, a, in a, like they wish it wasn't like that. They wish that they were able to feel romance and hope in that, but at this time, they don't want to really move from where they're at in the sense of 
it's either ignor ignorance is bliss here or uh, fake it till you make it energy they're feeling some type of way they don't like it they don't want to be in that space they know it's not a good time to make any final decisions and again they wish they would didn't have to be in this specific energy and not as it's not necessarily they have to be in this in this energy they feel like their next likely action involves them feeling like this is something they have to do like they don't have a choice like even if they tried they couldn't in regards to like the physical mentality of it yeah maybe um, maybe it was a friends with benefits versus like an actual relationship and you just have history with like in and out with this person and you see them not really wanting to continue the in and out energy with you or the way that they've been doing it they want to do it differently they want to take a back seat here about with like romance the idea of romance they just want they right now they want to have genuine nurturing fun while their libido is low while they're really needing that support system in regards to your energy gemini you see the person on your mind as the ten of voices and the three of materials uh, you may see them in a space of being exhausted on uh, some sort of like teamwork so if this is like within the connection you see them as like feeling exhausted with having to like have the conversations and work out these things together Right, or reverse, nothing off the ground. What's the ten of voices here for how Gemini sees the person on their mind? We got the three pentacles again and the seven of cups. So it's maybe feeling overloaded with not really getting to a place of agreeing. You see them as just being like, ugh, like reached a limit, exhausted of maybe a specific conversation. That they're bringing ideas into or that they're participating in it could be at work you could see them exhausted with work both of you could see each other exhausted with the idea of overworking what's the three of materials here for how gemini sees the person on their mind the page of wands in reverse yeah, the, they don't really feel like, you see them as not really feeling like they have more to bring to the table or, or, or they've, ran, they've ran out of ideas. It's hard for them to see the details here with the Page of Wands in reverse. There's a lack of motivation to continue working on something here at this time. You see them as exhausted about talking about the same thing over and over again or... Uh, you see them as growing tired of not manifesting something. There being too many elements involved. Um, your intentions towards the person on your mind. You've got the chariot. The ace of voices in reverse. The queen of materials in reverse. And the eight of materials. I think you want to... Uh, your intentions are to work. <laughs> so that you don't have to try to continue pointing something out here y your intentions are to m keep movement going and that might be in the workspace that may feel like the only place where you have full control or more control like you feel like your your mind is busy your body's busy um you may feel inspired to put your attention towards that because there's this lack of there's this what feels like 
not like a painful but intense energy that is being acknowledged, something that you don't really want to acknowledge, something that is happening that you don't necessarily feel is grounding, something that's taking away from your groundedness. Um, Spirit, what's the Ace of Voices in reverse and the Queen of Materials in reverse for Gemini's intentions? With the person on their mind or this person that's showing up. Queen of Materials in reverse. And the Ace of Voices in reverse for their intentions. Gemini. Page of Cups, Strength in reverse, the Lovers in reverse, Seven of Wands, and Eight of Pentacles. Your, in, your intention may be to continue working uh, towards seeing only certain things in your scenery um, choosing what your what your your intention is to choose what you're looking at even if it is not necessarily a decision there's this younger uh, like an immature energy that's coming through on 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 these with that's attached to the ace of voices in reverse and the queen of materials there may be something in this connection that makes you feel childish. It makes you feel like you have to over-explain yourself. Your intention is to stand your ground and continue doing what uh, may be affecting what you know is affecting the relationship, what is affecting a choice, what is affecting your endurance in the situation. Like there's this hint of wanting to see something, knowing that it is possible, but because it's the Page of Cups with like that clarifying these two, it's almost like you really, the what you do see, there's like little left is what I'm hearing, and you're not really going to... Even though you feel like you're t even though you're tired, possibly tired of what you feel like is over explaining yourself or or kind of repeating yourself, you're not really going to back down from that. You're willing to kind of go to louder voice like speaking louder if you have to. There's like this intensity of you really trying to get something going to see to 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 let them see what you see or to try to bring something to a, there's like where it's almost like you're asking yourself your intention is like where where is my efforts where is my attention Like, where is it being looked at? Where is it being appreciated? Where is it being noticed? And you're kind of willing to go to, you know, like possibly lose this person in the process of trying to ground yourself because you you don't feel grounded. You don't feel like you've got it in you to try to get this person to see something here, a point that you're trying to make, a point that you've been trying to make, maybe. Like maybe the way that the person on your mind sees you with the Eight of Swords in reverse here with the Six of Cups is they are seeing you in a space of not working on this connection like you used to, Maybe they see you as checked out. 
they see you kind of reminiscing here on how things did not work, how they're not adding up, something's not adding up. They see you trying not to let it like control how you communicate. They see you as trying to deal with what feels attached to your thoughts, what you keep thinking about. Um, so with the Eight of Materials and the Chariots, what's that in regards to Gemini's intentions? Eight of Materials just keeps coming out like across the board. Um, in regards to your intentions, how they see you, Three of Swords. You want to, I think your intention is to heal through your work, through where you feel you are moving in the material world. Your intention is to utilize this situation, this result, and to put it into your work. Your, your like, work work. <laughs> For some of you, your intention is to move away from working on this. They are looking away from each other. And there's, like, this inner knowing here. A gut feeling that hurts and your I think your intention here is to either utilize that or to avoid looking at it like almost how can I distract myself because when I do think about it I can't think straight kind of thing maybe there's some things you got to get done and this connection is interfering with that your intentions are to like try to stay focused. The advice from spirits, four of emotions in reverse, and the ace of emotions in reverse. Spirit, how is this advice? How's the four of emotions in reverse advice? Two of cups. Don't give up on trying to peacefully, um, it's either you needing, you being guided to, advised to have a peaceful closure, so both of you are on the same page, or it's advice to, like guidance to understand Yeah, it's like, how can we agree to disagree? So you're either going to move on with this connection or not. But the guidance here is to try your best, to the best of your ability, to be on the same page when you finish a conversation or when, you, when something comes up here. Like, the, their, their next likely action here is to kind of avoid things that remind them of what does not feel good in the connection or connecting period and spirits kind of just asking you to meet them in the space of trying to see from their point of view also wanting peace and just trying to have an understanding no matter what that understanding is to be okay with what it is to get to a point that you know you did your part. With the Ace of Emotions in reverse, it's, it's uh, sticking to not giving an emotional offer right now. What's the Ace of Emotions here? To try not to start something new. Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Um, for some of you, your advice is to not, um, try to make offer an offer to two choices that you have. 
these choices don't seem to know about each other. One is more mentally stimulated, st stimulating to you, and the other one is more emotionally stimulating to you. Um, but the advice is to not try to stir things up or until until this is done. So maybe you have to finish with like another connection or get to some sort of conclusion to know who to pick. Or it's just you knowing that it's head over heart decision, head over heart mentality right now. It's almost like you know that there's only so much more you can say, and so until something becomes more clear, until you feel more grounded, you're not really planning on like approaching in a way of like trying to figure something out regarding emotions. It's almost like, like I don't know, it's not a really good example. I was gonna say, like people that don't want to vote because they feel they're not politically educated enough or that they're not up to date with the polit the politics to make a proper decision. And I say that for more of times where politics were made a little bit more sense. Um, I won't go into my personal opinions, but when politics made more sense and it was not such a eager um, intensity around the need to vote, in this situation it seems like feeling like you don't have enough emotion, maturity, or stability at this time to be able to talk about emotions or to try to process this out loud with this person. Um, it's almost like maybe for some of you, you need to be um, mentally clear for you to then feel what you're feeling. And you may have a lot of things on your to-do list, work. You may be in a space here where all your energy is going towards some priorities here and you don't have like the time or energy to put towards trying to figure out this connection. Head over heart. Try to stay in a peaceful, you know, when you speak, let it be words that come from support and compassion and your truth and like productivity. All right, let's pull some guidance to see if there's anything else that Spirit wants to point out for you. Spirit, what guidance do you have? Advice that you have for love in general or just a general message here for Gemini at this time. All right, so we've got the judge. Gemini, the judge has an incredibly important job. They work every waking hour of every day helping us discern what is safe, true, and just. When this archetype remains unconscious or is captivated by fear, wise discernment turns into painful judgment of self and other. Ironically, the judge's energy can be the seed of racism, bigotry, and fear-mongering. This is the judge out of balance, building walls separating from quote-unquote other. When this same discerning force is made conscious and healed, however, the judge may be found advocating for civil rights causes, standing up for the underdog, providing resources for those in need, and forgiving again and again. Love is the deciding factor. 
Awakening this archetype is essential for the complex times we are in. Get your judge in order. The world needs it. So getting your judge in order. <laughs> you are getting yourself back on track, grounded, so that you can show up in a discerning, productive way. Period in your life. I'm getting it like period, not just in this connection. The judge's energy is contagious. When we feel judged, walls go up all around. Similarly, when we feel accepted, the entire world softens. So again, there's just this reminder of trying to make sure that what words do leave your mouth, what actions do leave your aura, your presence, is from a place of compassion, understanding, wanting to know someone is heard, that their feelings are valid, but staying clear on your where you stand head over heart if you're feeling a lot of things like don't make any continue to not make any hardcore big decisions at this time because spirit's saying continue doing what you have to do to see straight to have clarity so you can really process your emotions and how you feel about something how you feel about everything that surrounds you because then you know what next, what what to invest in next, what to move around, what to shift, what to keep, what to what to move away from. You'll have a lot better understanding. So keep doing what you're doing in regards to your intentions here. Try not to skip steps or avoid. You know, try to continue to check in with yourself emotionally, so you can tell if that you're at that point yet. Um, where you might need a good cry or you might need like a cold shower or something to kind of help your nervous system um, while you're giving yourself time here to get ready to look at what's going on. Try not to avoid or move. Yeah, try not to turn the page too quickly because um, that will create those walls that the, the judge can make. So it's one or the other. One or the other, Gemini. What do you want to feel at the end of the day, you know? Love. Understanding. Alright, loves. This is what I've got for you for now. Until next time. And until next time, and always sending you love. Gemini, you've got this.